All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be learning how to do Celtic knots for March. So let's get going. All right, so Celtic knots is an Irish uh, form of patterning. Uh, it originated in Ireland and you can see it normally in like tombstones, decorative buildings, uh, sometimes in um, booklets or like such as like, like pamphlets of, uh, sorry I'm using the wrong words here, um, like textbooks such as famous ones like the Book of Kells and uh, stuff like that. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys a basic one how to do it and then we'll go from there. So for this one in particular what you're going to do is you're going to make three uh, very even and separated dots. Uh, but for this project we don't have to make them as even as you think. I just try to guesstimate where they would go so I'm going to put a dot right here. A dot right here in this corner and a dot right there. So now I have three dots and I have two, one, two in the bottom and then a third one on the very top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be creating curves connecting them all in a certain way. So I'm going to do the bottom one first. I want to connect this dot to this dot with a nice overarching line like this. Okay. I did as lightly as possible because maybe it, not, it won't be right, but we don't know. All right, next up, I'm gonna go from this dot to this dot. So I'm gonna curve it, uh, hopefully with the same curve. And I'm gonna go just like this. All right, and last but not least, uh, we're gonna connect these two dots together. So I'm gonna go with this and create a curve going this direction. Okay. Now we have the, the gist of what we're doing here. We do have a pattern going on and then we can try to fix it a little bit so it's a little more cleaner. So if I start from one dot and I go around, connects to this one, but if I keep following it, look what happens. If I keep following this, go around this one, go up, connect this one, it becomes a never ending line. So there's, uh, there's no uh, way where it exits or enters and it's basically a closed loop. Pretty cool, huh? So now we have the generic shape of what we're going for. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker. I think I'm going to use this one instead. Should I? No, I'll use a Sharpie. Sharpie is a little bit easier to erase on top of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the outside first. So I'm going to trace from here to there. Here to there. I'm going to go from here to here. Then to here. And finally to here and to there. Now, once I get those areas traced off, now it's time to create a little bit of a gap on the inside. So I'm gonna trace from here to there. Ooh, a little messy, but it's okay. I'm gonna create a little bit of a gap right here. I'm gonna go over here. And then what I didn't do is you're gonna close them all off. So I'm gonna close this one, close this one, and then finally close this one. And you're gonna create a shape in the inside, the inside area, just like so. Now let's clean it up a little bit so we're not so confused with all these lines here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with an eraser and clean up my pencil lines, just like this. Perfect. So it's starting to look like a Celtic knot. There's a couple more things we could do to make it a little more advanced and that's overlapping and with shading. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go uh, pretend, I'm gonna follow my line and I'm gonna try to pretend which one goes first and we'll go like that. So I'm gonna start from up here. So I'm gonna go down. So I'm assuming this one's going over this line. I'm gonna make this one go underneath this one. So if it goes underneath, it's gonna go like that. And if it goes over this one, then that means these lines connect like this. So it looks like this one's going over and this one's going underneath. So if I go back this direction, if I wanna make this one going over this one, then I would have to go this direction. And then it already looks like it's going underneath the other one. And there we go. So I add one, two, three, four, five, six lines to connect them together. That way it makes kind of like an endless loop. So now what I'm gonna do is I can shade it now with any color I want. So the generic color I want for my knot is gonna be green. I'm gonna pick green right here. I'm gonna shade it all this one color. Just like so. If you want to leave a little bit of white to uh, resemble a highlight, you can. Like if I want to leave this part white over here, I can. I can skip it like this. To make it look shiny. You can do that if you'd like. But you don't have to. So maybe if I want to add that same highlight on the other side, 
And all I would do is leave a little bit of white and then keep going. See, a little bit of white. All right, now I did that. I'm gonna go with a darker green and I'm gonna shade underneath where the line intersects. So from here, I go this way and it goes, and I'll probably feather it a little bit outward towards that direction. And then out the other way, just like so. Pretty cool, right? For underneath here, I'd make this area darker until it reaches there. And then I'd make this area darker where it goes underneath this direction. So now you're starting to get a real sense of what's on top and what goes underneath. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna continue this by going a little bit lighter on each side. And I can definitely see that it's looking more three-dimensional and a never-ending line. So now all I gotta do now is decorate it. And that's basically it. So this was a pretty easy project. Um, you can do any decorations you want. Uh, for me to make it a little bit easier, I will go back with marker and maybe add some stripes. And then uh, I'll call it done. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add maybe that color, this color. I'm gonna leave, of course, white. And it should be really cool. All right, so here I go. I might have to speed up the video, but we'll see. I'm gonna start in the very end here. So I'm just gonna speed up right now. That should do it. Um, there's other ways how I can make this more detailed, such as like stars, clovers, and other things like that. Uh, but to save time for this video um, and to save my day so I can do some other things, um, I'm gonna call it done early. So this is the Caltech Knot. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.